Today we're looking at two competing minivans, the Chrysler Pacifica and the Toyota Sienna. We'll see how the minivan segment changed America. We'll also drive through and see how the Pacifica and Sienna evolved in technology and style down to today. So hop in and let's go for a ride. In recent time, minivans have taken a back seat with trendier SUVs and crossovers taking over. But there's one minivan that's still hanging on. Did you know that last year the Chrysler Pacifica dominated the minivan market? In fact, it knocked its competitors out of the water. But let's rewind a bit to see how it all started. In the late 1970s and 80s, American families faced a challenge. There were two oil crises, and car makers started shrinking their cars to save fuel. There wasn't an ideal vehicle for families that needed an affordable vehicle that drove like a car, had good fuel economy, and offered space for kids in tow, school bags, sports equipment, groceries, and more. At that time, Chrysler was having financial difficulties, but they picked up on the market need. And in 1984, Chrysler introduced America to the Plymouth Voyager and Dodge Caravan. These vehicles popularized the term minivan and started the minivan mania. Industry analysts predicted that the minivan would overshadow the station wagon, and they were correct. American families in suburbia loved the minivan. Other car makers noticed. The following year, in 1985, GM released the Chevy Astro and GMC Safari. A year later, Ford released the Aerostar. As gas prices started to fall in the 1990s, more minivans entered the market, including upscale ones like Chrysler, Town, and Country. It was during the peak of the minivan era that Toyota introduced the Sienna. It replaced Toyota's previous minivan, the Previa. Unlike the Previa, the Sienna was front-wheel drive with a 3-liter V6 engine. The Sienna was built on a heavily revised and extended Camry platform. In fact, it was marketed as the Camry of minivans. It quickly earned a good reputation because of its top rating for gas mileage and because it performed well in the IIHS crash tests. But the advantage with the early Sienna was that it was smaller than the other minivans it was competing against. Around this time, Chrysler unveiled a new concept minivan called the Pacifica. That was back in 1999. It was intended to be a more luxury minivan than a town and country, seating up to six passengers. The luxury concept had second row seats with power footrests, and there was even a golf bag rack in the trunk, which could hold up to four golf bags. In many ways, the concept minivan was ahead of its time because not only did it have a 3.5 liter V6 engine, but it also had an electric motor that powered the front wheels. The combustion engine generated 253 horsepower and the electric motor added another 70 horsepower. So we're talking similar performance of a V8 vehicle. But the Pacifica concept minivan would remain just a concept and never made it into production. That's because Chrysler shifted gears. They saw the growing trend for SUVs and crossovers. So they decided to invest the next two and a half years and nearly a billion dollars to develop a mid-sized crossover that was inspired by the concept Pacifica. Fast forward a few years later and they released a new crossover, the 2004 Chrysler Pacifica. That very same year, Toyota launched the second generation Sienna XL20. This generation was larger in size. Toyota had enlarged the dimensions so it would match those of the competitors, and no one could complain about having less space. This generation saw an updated 3.3 liter V6 engine with a 5-speed automatic transmission. Its safety features were top in its class. The higher trims came with an option for all-wheel drive, and this was during a time when most minivans were front-wheel drive. When GM discontinued all-wheel drive minivans in 2006, the Sienna became the only minivan in the U.S. to offer optional all-wheel drive. It would enjoy that position for more than a decade. Around this time, the Chrysler Pacifica crossover was facing a huge hurdle. Consumers found the Pacifica less practical than the Chrysler Town & Country minivan. That's because it cost $3,000 more, yet was smaller in size and less spacious. There were also negative reviews due to the lack of engine power compared to its weight, as well as poor mechanical reliability and lack of fuel efficiency. This really stalled Pacifica sales. After a four-year production run, Chrysler discontinued the Pacifica crossover. Meanwhile, Toyota redesigned the Sienna and offered it in five trim levels, with optional tow package that could handle 3,500 pounds. All-wheel drive was available with the V6 engine on the LE, XLE, and limited trim models. The SE trim offered revised bodywork, 
clear tail lamps, 19 inch wheels, firmer suspension and revised steering tuning. There were positive reviews stating that Toyota had slipped a sports car into a minivan. The story goes that chief engineer Kazuo Mori had faced a lot of internal pushback when he suggested that the SE package should be included in their lineup, but he succeeded in overcoming opposition. Toyota also became the first car maker to offer factory installed auto access seat for disabled passengers. The Sienna had one touch rotating power ascending descending lift up seat that could lower to within 19 inches of the ground. Toyota continued upgrading the Sienna with progressive updates, minor refreshes and mild facelifts. This generation enjoyed a long production lifespan, almost a decade. Around this time, there were industry rumors that Chrysler was developing a new generation of the town and country minivan. Some thought the town and country might now be a crossover. So there was much anticipation in 2016 when Chrysler made a bold announcement. They were discontinuing the town and country. Instead, they announced an all new minivan called the Chrysler Pacifico, which would replace it. So why the name change? Chrysler acknowledged it was risk to steer away from the town and country name, especially given its reputation and position. But they wanted the public to forget the perception of its traditional minivan. They wanted to reinvent what the modern minivan is, especially since it was competing against SUVs and crossovers. The new Pacifica minivan came with a conventional powertrain, but also plug-in hybrid model. It enjoyed the bragging right of being the only minivan in the US market to offer both gas and electric hybrid power. And you can see the impact. Sales nearly doubled from 62,000 in 2016 to more than 118,000 in 2017. And that brings us today. Recently, Toyota announced the fourth generation with the 2021 Sienna. This is the latest Sienna available in the market today. It's built on one of Toyota's new global architectural platforms. Toyota made a significant change in offering all grades of the 2021 Sienna to come standard with a hybrid powertrain. Currently, the Sienna is a segment leader in terms of fuel efficiency. It gets 36 miles per gallon combined with front wheel drive or 35 miles per gallon combined with all wheel drive. This generation Sienna has switched to the E4 system with the rear wheels driven electrically. Toyota probably claimed that despite being a hybrid, the Sienna could still tow the same 3,500 pounds as the previous generation combustion engine only models. The 2021 Sienna focuses on family comfort and convenience. For example, it's available with refrigerated compartment, heads up display, and 360 degree camera view in the platinum trim. The minivan can also be equipped with a third electric motor to power the rear wheel. And check out the 18 cup holders, 7 USB ports, 4 zone climate control, onboard Wi Fi, rear entertainment system, and a voice amplification system so parents can communicate better with the kids in the back. Toyota pretty much thought of everything for the family on the go. In the meantime, Chrysler upped the ante when they recently unveiled the 2021 Pacifica. You can see it's been restyled. It's now available with front wheel drive for the Pacifica hybrid model and all wheel drive for gasoline combustion models. In fact, the Pacifica is now the only minivan in the U.S. to offer a traditional all-wheel drive. The Pacifica has a range of over 500 miles when you combine the V6 and the electric motor. The lithium-ion battery can provide up to 32 miles of all-electric driving when fully charged. It takes a little more than two hours to fully charge the battery on a 240-volt charger. Chrysler really paid attention to the small details to cater to upscale families. Fancy features include an onboard vacuum cleaner, also a tray for wet umbrellas, and 13 cup holders. The latest Pacifica is also the first van to offer a panoramic sunroof that stretches past the third row. It also has a fam cam, which is a wide fisheye lens on the ceiling above the second row. It captures all five rear seats so the parents can keep an eye on the kids. The Pacifica is a lot of high-tech touches too. It's the first Fiat Chrysler vehicle to offer the Android Uconnect 5 infotainment system with a standard high-resolution touchscreen display with wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto smartphone integration, as well as Amazon Alexa capabilities and Sirius XM satellite radio and high-speed data connectivity. Also, USB-C high-speed data and charging ports come as standard equipment, and TomTom-based GPS navigation is optional. Well, they say everything has a time and place. The automotive industry is no exception. Every vehicle class sees its own trend, its own rise and fall. The minivan once supplanted the station wagon and revolutionized the car industry in America culture. It's had its day in the limelight. In more recent decades, the SUV and crossover have long overtaken the minivan. But the minivan is not extinct. 
product. There are still a handful in the market. Last year, Chrysler sold nearly 94,000 Pacificas. You can see how much it outperformed its competition when you consider the only brand close to their sales was the Honda Odyssey, which had sales of 83,000 units. Toyota Sienna sales were almost 43,000. But now, you tell me, what do you prefer, the Chrysler Pacifica or the Toyota Sienna, and why? Please comment below and share your opinion. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for your support.